delighted to be interviewing the winner of the Young Economist competition for the European Central Bank's eighth annual forum on central banking. Diego, the award was announced about an hour ago. How are you feeling right now? Thanks, Claire. To be honest, I still can't really believe it. I'm obviously extraordinarily happy and also honored to have received this prize. Thanks a lot. And you know, this was an award that was voted on by an expert panel here at the ECB and participants to the forum, many of whom are renowned academics. Could you maybe tell a more non-academic audience what the paper is about? Yeah, I'd be very happy to do that. So the paper is really about one of the key challenges of the day, that is how to organize a successful transition to a low carbon economy. And to be able to do that, it is crucial for policymakers to understand how climate change mitigation policies affect the economy. And the distributional effects are of particular interest, especially given the recent discussion about energy poverty and the rise in energy prices in Europe. A successful yeah. transition to a low carbon economy requires public support. Therefore, it cannot come at the cost of the most vulnerable. And in my paper, I really show that this is currently not the case. The policy has regressive effects that can, however, be offset by targeted fiscal policy to support the most vulnerable. Thanks a lot for that. I mean, we saw throughout the forum that climate change and how that's going to impact the actions of monetary policymakers was something that was closely followed during the forum. What would be your sense of how the discussion will go in the years to come in this area? What are future avenues of research for you and other economists? That's a great question. I think central banks are really leading the way here because central banks are important research institutions. And we can see already in the ECB, the Bank of England, some of the Feds, climate change is becoming an important research topic also within these banks. And I think that's a really important development because from a macroeconomic perspective, the implications of climate change are not yet well understood. So more research is definitely much needed. Absolutely. And I hope you have some way of celebrating tonight. Thanks a lot for joining us, Diego, and enjoy the award. I've got it right here now, but I'm sure someone at the ECB will be posting it to you in the near future. Congratulations again. Cheers. Thank you so much, Claire.